So, Animated brought back a lot of the GUI adjacent characters that had gone more or less unused since the Unicron trilogy came along, thanks to the live action movies allowing Hasbro to reacquire some trademarks, and chief among these was Bumblebee, making his triumphant return and reclaiming the role of main kid appeal character from Hotshot, and subsequently gaining the position of franchise mascot. But before the Bayverse had a chance to set the new status quo of a yellow and black Brit shit house mute, Animated had its chance to give us a more traditional small ad, with just a couple of little live action nods. And the Legacy United Animated Universe Bumblebee does very well to pay homage to this version of the character. The proportions and sculpted detail on this guy are fantastic. He's a little bulkier than the animation model for sure, but not to an insane degree. The colours are nice, with a deep black and a vibrant yellow, and some excellent colour matching on the painted yellow sections. The paintwork itself is very clean and well done, with the stripes being just the right width and applied remarkably cleanly, and the head is painted especially nicely with those little black lines bringing out the details. The head itself is well sculpted and really evokes this version of the character especially thanks to that little off-centered smirk. The head does seem to stick out from the body a touch. It feels decidedly more stylized than the rest of the sculpt, but that inconsistency doesn't feel like a problem, especially in person, but just a slightly strange choice. Oh, I've been bequeathed a snack. His accessories are pretty good. He has his stingers which can plug into the ports revealed when you transform away the hands, but they don't sit at a particularly natural angle. This is due to the stingers being designed for their combined double form. I understand why this was done this way, but I feel like it could have worked equally as well if they'd done it differently. If you do want him holding his stingers individually, they plug into the rocket boosters, which doesn't look perfect, but it works. The boosters themselves are pretty great. They're well sculpted and cast in some thick, smoky, clear plastic, and you can use the stingers as pseudo-effect parts when they're on the figure's back. The absolute highlight here is the posability. All the joints are really nice and tight and have good ranges, and he has a whole load of extra bits and pieces like an ab crunch and a neck cut so he can look just straight up. The only oddity here is the design of the shoulders. They're in a series of different rotations for the transformation, so posing them can be a little strange, but that does not take away the fun from posing this guy. I cannot think of a single other figure that I have managed to get into a completely freestanding handstand before. Seriously, how the f*** did I do this? The transformation on this guy is good for the most part. I really like the way the legs rotate around themselves, but Getting the arms into place and pegging in the roof feels really squishy and unsatisfying. And the alt mode is, uh, mostly good. The front portion works excellently and looks really solid, and it's really accurate to the animation model, but the point above the back fenders is just really ugly. You can cover that up with the thrusters to fix the issue though, and focus on the things that are great about this car mode, like the continuous racing stripe, the excellently picked out clear red siren, and his excellently painted hubcaps. He looks pretty great and scales well with Optimus, although scale kinda goes out the window when you bring Prowl in the equation, but my god, this guy is tiny. Like, really tiny. I understand that a lot of people were rubbed the wrong way by Earthrise B being small, and I can't imagine the discussion for this guy being particularly different, but I really don't mind. I mean, he should be this small, so I see no issue. Overall, this guy is really great. By no means is he perfect, but he's still a good representation of animated Bumblebee, and that posing makes it so well worth the pickup for me. And if you're looking for an animated style B, I would happily recommend this guy to anyone to fill the void.